Hello and welcome back to Battletech. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our beloved Swan Song campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the ultra hardcore mode, uh, i.e. everything really dialed up to the absolute maximum. It is time to go into the next flashpoint. Just as a recap, this is I think the fifth solar system that we're visiting. We're about a hundred and oh, almost 200 days in. The travel was uh, quite long. We got the full uh, staffed out kind of mid-sized um, uh, set of mechs. We, yeah, all four of them are now medium mechs and it's time to upgrade them slowly but surely towards that heavy tier. Looking forward for that and one way of doing it is doing a two and a half skull type of flashpoint, eventually going up to even three skulls. I think we could do that, maybe even three and a half skulls. And today we're working for the Lyran Commonwealth, which is a uh, faction that doesn't even have um, its own quadrant within that very small part of the Inner Spheres here. Adra, however, um, asked us to investigate and is uh, wants us to work against House Liao. So all of that is just pre-baiting and we got our first decision. Drop during the Sentry Alpha's patrol window and choose to drop after sent, um, Sentry Alpha has left the field. You know what? We're going with them because that will allow us to maybe have a nice two-on-two -two, uh, sort of battle. Uh, more fun, more enemies. We got 1.1 million and just a tiny bit of salvage. So we're going in with... Yeah, we're going in with 1.1 million. The Capellian Confederation, we're currently in a like reputation with them. That'll change soon. But it is what it is. We got our hunchback ready, I think. Yes, thank you. So, which one do I like more? The Blackjack or the Vindicator? The Blackjack seems to have more armor, but yet again at the same time. It's really not working out that well. So if I view this uh, mech, we're at a 180 far power, that's 190. So the Vindicator consistently deals more damage. And although, oh no, it also has more armor than the Blackjack. Okay, cool. So the Blackjack is out. Instead, we're taking the Hunchback in. And the Hunchback with 960 armor comes in right almost at the maximum where the Griffin is um, and really is a nice laser boat fire support. So we got two brawlers, mainly focusing on lasers. We got a Centurion here with LRMs and we have kind of reconfigured it a bit, making it m more deadly with the LRMs plus plus, but also giving it some uh, closer ranged capabilities. And we got a mixed bag with the Griffin, um, halfway lasers, halfway uh, small ranged uh, missiles, so we should be fine. Vindicator, to be honest, has a couple of SRMs as well, but net net, we're heavily at the moment relying on lasers. Jungle biome is fine, so our advantage of the lance so far is we are relatively independent when it comes to ammunition, but we are heat dependent, so we will struggle in hot biomes and we will do exceptionally well in colder ones. Good, time to deploy. All right, the Steiner forces are a great spot for a battle mech fight. waiting for us really over here. Secure the relay point and then go on. So it's not a two on two. We're actually doing a, an escort mission. This here, however, like he correctly said, looks like an, an awful lot like a, like an ambush point. Piece of cake. Uh, could use this high ground here, maybe. Acknowledged. Stand for. Moving to position. Yeah, that whole thing here looks almost like a death trap. Although we could move up here and then fight downwards if we were engaged. 
position confirmed. Roger that, Commander. On my way. Okay, so far we're doing fine. On the move. Just go into the capture Deck zone knowledge. and see if we Move continue doing fine. Fantastic. We got a couple of buggies and we got to destroy whatever comes plus the Leo reinforcements. Uh, well, that more than expected and unfortunately the escort zone is on the other side well luckily we do have some quickly moving mechs i am wondering if the enemy might come from from the back let's assess the landscape no the enemy comes from the front okay so this patch here uh, offers some decent uh, cover I think overall that this patch over here might be one that we are going to see some fights for because it is high ground and also offers cover. I would like the the forces to move first and also the enemy mechs. We have only seen a single enemy mech so far. Good. Fantastic. Our friends are not moving, and that is exactly what I was hoping would happen. That way, that way we can catch up, because I don't want them to go in first. We have fast mechs, but we we don't have that fast of um, of a lance. All right, gathering some resolve. That's good. Now the enemy is waiting there, which is always a bad sign. It, it almost dawns on me that either from, yeah, potentially from the left hand side, we're going to see the enemies going to flank us. There we go, four enemy mechs. How durable are these Steiner, uh, Steiner APCs? I wonder. Doesn't really look like a lot of armor in my book. Got Almost looks like done. they got not that much. Skipper. Can I click on them? No, can't. Okay. I got you. Hunchback moves up. Let's continue to sprint, vindicate our sprints. Yeah. What can I do you for? On my Mox way. in the Double Centurion time. moves. And we know it's too light and too medium max. That's fine. Griffin takes the front position, point position. And we have a full resolve. That is fantastic. Waiting for the right move. Okay, that will be a head-on uh, collision. Alright, what are we dealing with? Trebuchet, Jenner, Shadowhawk, and another Jenner. Okay, so we're ignoring the Shadowhawk. He has a Bulwark, so he'll take 40% less damage because he's guarded. We'll potentially work with the Trebuchet first, and then maybe the Jenner here. Steiner APCs are rather light APCs, but currently they do have a few uh, medium lasers, so they're doing a good job in keeping those guys busy. This here is, however, a really shitty formation. Their tactic stinks. Confirmed. And even worse. Seems as if we can't reach these guys. Dang it. LRM 15s. Do we have a chance to somewhat get closer? Alright. 
Mox moves up with the Centurion. Let's give him a Vigilance so we can act early next turn. Multishot. Full Shadowhawk uh, LRMs. And we're also completely unloading on the Trebuchet. That's actually a really good combination. Okay, that melted quite a bit of armor. Trying to secure that right hand side high ground here. Again, Tigan cannot move anywhere meaningfully. Might as well move into the center forest with a hunchback and begin next turn. How about... Yeah, I think that here is going to go well. Okay. Precision Strike. I want the Trebuchet to not act. We need to act first, so we're reducing its initiative. Here we go. Took quite a bit of damage. Structure exposed. Now, their Light Max will act first. Jenna moves up. Just a tiny bit of damage for the Hunchback. Very well uh, armored. Yeah. Order. So if Mox was about to go to here, hypothetically speaking. Okay, that would work well. Okay. Yet another multi-shot. This ability on um, an LRM boat is just fantastic. Punishing the Jenner. Whilst at the same time just making, just softening up that trebuchet. Jenner is down. Not killed, but will lose its initiative. Okay, well, these guys really don't have a lot of armor. Redford moves up. Let's take some vigilance because he's inspired. And get that trebuchet down. LRMs are gone. Now it's time for the Shadowhawk to retaliate. Yep, and that's why we have taken the Vigilance. Minus 40% damage. Almost no... Taking heavy hits, Commander. Almost no... Uh, uh, um, stability damage. This here, on the other hand, should light up the Trebuchet nicely. Alright, Hunchback moves up in this here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to hurt. Now Here we go. That hit something good. Holy shit. Pilot incapacitated. The guy is out. Good. Time to retaliate on the Shadowhawk. He nicely showed his back, which, of course, we'll use to our advantage. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Ooh, the Jenna is also vulnerable. Yeah, we can't hit all of them. The Jenna that is lying on the ground will take its fair share of pain when it's our turn. And it might even die before that happens, which would be fantastic. Go ahead 
APCs and just kill the guy. Alright, so I think their Jenner acts first. Yeah, that's rear arc for us, but we're fine. He, he also opened up his rear arc. Aye, aye. Position confirmed. All right. Copy that. Good. Breadboard. Completely destroys uh, the guy. Now, Hogbite over here. Moves in. Vigilance so that we get Bulwark. And this should be a kill. Almost. Receiving you. Move order received. All right. Not fantastic. Multiple targets. Ah, uh, still not uh, down. I was hoping we would get it down. All right, Shadowhawk takes priority. You got it. Hunchback moves up. Yeah, I think that should be plenty, I got plenty enough to get the guy down. Okay, fantastic. Bye -bye. We'll take some more damage from the Jenna, but we should be fine. Could have positioned the Hunchback just a tiny bit more to face into that direction, but the Jenna is fast enough to get behind him again. Alright, I'm not sure if we might see just another lance of the enemy, so not 100% sure if that's already all they got. Two medium, two light make seems a bit little for... no, there we go, more mechs over here, okay, fantastic. And that's four medium mix right there. Hunchback takes some more damage, but yeah, not level. Good, we're moving back. I would like a solid, really, really good position up here. Let's make sure we hit the general well. Engaging target. Yeah, now it's a matter of just how much they can um, chip off of, uh, off uh, the off the APCs. But I don't think that they will be able to kill all of them. So we're moving back. I want to keep the high ground and fight them head on next turn. Engaging target. Reporting. Critical hit. We'll just eliminate the general. 
try to regain yeah try to regain some more heat well, unfortunately losing yeah we're unfortunately losing some of the units but Waiting for there's orders. not much that we can do about it from here Roger. charging recklessly in will not solve it I copy score to critical hit they potentially should have stayed back and not immediately rushed in but yeah when it's their turn the they will be able to um, extract which is fine good centurion here we still got plenty of LRMs, so we're fine. Let's kill the Jenner. Okay, very good. But they will potentially escape after this round. How did they not move? Uh, wow, really? Receiving you. How did they not move? Are you telling me that they are not moving? Roger. Because Hold we're me. not close enough? That would be the most stupid, uh, stupid AI behavior that I've seen in a while. Alright, that one APC will definitely go down. Affirmative. Let's try to hit these guys. Trebuchet here. Take some damage and initiative is reduced to two. I want to kill it next turn. Yes, command. Position confirmed. Gotta save some heat, so we're just using the LRMs for now. Yes, those guys are medium max, which of course will make it more difficult to kill them. Hopefully, the last um, the last vehicle can extract. Hogwite moves up here. Not the best, but also not the worst position. Let's hit the trebuchet. Okay, fantastic. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. The objective is secured, Commander. Good, now we gotta deal with four medium mechs, right? We got a bit of a better position here. We can't get to the evac zone. And interestingly enough, now the enemy gets a free turn and then we're re-rolling initiative, which is a, a bullshit maneuver in itself. Look, the trebuchet just, all of them can lose heat. Well, fantastic. All of them get a kind of free heat loss and re-roll re -roll initiative. Confirm. Yeah. Hunchback moves back. We're 
going to take the high ground uh, back. Reporting. Heavy damage. Waiting for orders. All right, moving here. I want vigilance so that we get bulwark. What a bullshit. So yeah, the uh, computer decided that it is time to do a new engagement, which is generally fine, but not if you're already halfway engaged, right? So it forced me to engage and use my heat and essentially all of uh, the all of the advantages that we had in our engagement were negated. No shooting, just running. Indicator moves way, way back. Okay, Phoenix Hawk. That all you got? Exposed himself Commander. as a good target. And you know what? Let's try that. Let's actually make sure that this guy here is going to regret his life choices. Nice overall hits. Instable. No evasion. Moving our Griffin out of um, direct sight. And let's retaliate against the Phoenix Hawk over here. The enemy is running reasonably hot, which is okay. Gotta uh, kill that Phoenix Hawk. That should be our main priority. Indicator moves over here into a nice position. And let's focus on getting this guy down. He's caught out of uh, out of cover. So we hopefully can cap uh, capitalize on it. Griffin takes more damage, but that's okay. We're fine. 40% reduction, 50% actually against missiles because they always round down up, to the next increment. But Centurion moves even further back. And now it's a matter of heat management, really. Armor holding. All right, hunchback. Let's show them our other side so that both of the arms get equally punished. Uh, we're uh, using Vigilance for 40% reduction and all out attack with all of the lasers. Good. The Phoenix Hawk, highly unstable, halfway destroyed. It's like mi minimum weapons left over. Yep. 
confirmed. We do not have enough to give him another entrenchment. Currently we're fine. I almost feel like I'd want them to move a bit. Trebuchet moves. That's not a lot of damage. I can't take much more of this. Standing by. Orders? All right, Centurion moves here. We we need to save some some heat anyway, so might as well take our shots. And that trebuchet is highly highly injured. Not a lot of damage in return. I think we're okay. I think we're okay with that one. Phoenix Hawk is. Okay. Yes, Commander. All right, Redford moves that. over. Let's give him vigilance. And let's hit this other Phoenix Hawk here. Locking on target. Very good. So they're down one. And we're having the better position. Now it's a war of attrition, which is happening. Our armor still holds pretty well. Phoenix Hawk decides to overheat for no apparent reason. And as the last one this turn. Can we find a good position? Oh, we're still fully engaged with all three of them. This here isn't bad. Might as well want to go for that trebuchet over there. Like, what are we dealing with? Large laser, medium laser. This here is two LRMs, 15, which I really don't want to deal with. So let's go for the trebuchet you. here. Good hits, very good hits. And it comes down to this guy still has an LRM 15 and is highly injured. We might as well be able to kill him. Not quite, almost. Commander. All right, Vindicator goes over. I want that trebuchet to not act and essentially Roger that. Have the advantage over it. It's the highest DPS that the enemy has at this point. We're okay, 40% damage reduction. Managed to absorb Orders. most of it. Hunchback takes a better position over here. I don't like that we can't focus on a single target, but sometimes keeping your defenses up is better than like moving in offensively. This guy is burning at the moment, so he'll probably not do much. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Right here. He is out of juice. 
Speaking about which, this guy down here will get a full appreciation of what we can do. LRM 15 is gone. a tiny bit back still staying in that sweet sweet uh, cover here and there we go it worked out well at the end just enough damage to get the guy down All right, the Phoenix Hawk doesn't really have too much uh, power left, so might as well go for the Trebuchet Vigilance so that we're uh, acting early. What are we dealing with? 34. Let's try to kill him. Central Torso. Oh, that worked out well. Good job, Redford. Enemy down. All right, he left his only defense, which was essentially staying where he was. That was a really questionable gameplay. Confirmed. So no LRMs in that case. Let's just straight up go for his back. Good hits. Reducing his initiative. And this should be a kill. The fight went much smoother than expected. Here we go. Personal favorite was just the laser boat of the hunchback. So much damage. Alright, good mission. Mission successful. Just barely made it, but we destroyed both of the lances. That should be a bit of a cash bonus. Unfortunately, well, is it really unfortunate? I don't know. If we if we would have salvaged, it probably wouldn't have really mattered that much. Because most of the stuff that we could have salvaged are the same mechs that we are running. A trebuchet would have been nice, kind of an upgrade to a vindicator. But it's like not like a night, night and day difference. There are, yeah, Shadowhawk would have been good. The Shadowhawk indeed would have been really good. But eventually we're going to run into even better max. That's part of the game. We instead got 1.2 million and that's definitely a good uh, outcome as well. So let's see if we can upgrade some of our pilots and... Let's see what the next mission is going to look like. So far, the two and a half skulls felt, or three skulls actually, felt doable. Of course, two lances of medium max are heavy, but not too heavy. Oh, consecutive deployment to uh, with Matchstick. He is, oh, he's, he's running a hatchet, man. That is a fun mech. It's a melee mech with kind of a huge axe in uh, in its hand so that is that is fantastic uh let's 
still give everybody their max and hogbite is like this here is the lrm yep uh let's use mox for the centurion please so our three most experienced pilots and it's a defend the uh, defend the base type uh, mission Matt's match sticks uh, has better pull, uh, pilot stats than each of our pilots has. And what are we go, uh, getting? I'm not even sure. Oh, we're getting 500 grand and a bit of salvage. Well, that's fine. So we've now secured kind of the intel, brought it back, and we immediately need to deploy on a defense mission fantastic i love it but that is going guys that's going to happen in the next episode we're already over time gotta cut it off here and we're going to jump right into the action the next time that we are playing battletech if you enjoy the battletech content feel free to leave a like and a comment down below today's question is what type of mission do you prefer and why and see you in two days take care bye bye